my name is Cameron Webb. I'm here at the Blue Microphone Studio with Musician's Friend. We're here with Marie Digby. And what we're going to do today is we're going to discuss acoustic guitar miking techniques. Um, I've been a record producer, mixer engineer for about 20 years, so I've, uh, I've worked with a pretty broad spectrum of artists, from Kelly Clarkson to Motorhead to uh, Pennywise, No Effects, um, Alkaline Trio, a lot of different artists. And over the years, working with those artists, I've tried out all sorts of techniques, and I've kind of chosen my favorite techniques that I use all the time, and they're tried and true, and uh, uh, you've heard it on tons of records. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover those. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this blue microphone right here. This is called the Dragonfly. I love this microphone. It, it's, it's one of my favorites for acoustics all the time. Um, if you notice where I'm positioning it, we're going to talk about why, why I'm putting things where I'm putting them. Uh, the best part of the guitar, in my opinion, is right around this area. I don't go right into the hole because I'm worried about some of the air coming out. I kind of sit right here. You get a good uh, brightness, and you also get kind of the bottom end. And you kind of get the more the character of, of the closeness of an acoustic guitar. Uh, so I'll put that microphone, you know, it's, it's about six inches away. And I'm not overly critical when an artist, if they're moving around a little bit, it, these microphones are good. So you can, you can handle a little distance back and forth because you want to make sure they're comfortable doing what they're doing. Um, I've got a second microphone right here. Um, this is the Bluebird. Now the Bluebird is to capture a different thing because if you look where I'm putting it, it looks like I kind of misplaced it, but I didn't. I'm pointing it at the body here because the body is going to get a good wooden sound, a good bottom end. So you're basically going to get your best kind of wooden sound from this area right here. And the key is I combine these two. This one will be the main focus and this one will be the secondary. So I'll blend them, maybe use 70% of this, 30% of this, and, and that's how you're going to get your, your best acoustic guitar sound. So if you notice, I sat here while she did this performance right now, as opposed to going into the other room. And the reason why I did that is because I want to hear what it sounds like when, when I'm sitting right here, because I know what these microphones are doing. And I want to know how they react in a room, and I, I want to know how they react to her playing. So for me, listening to her, I realized these are in a good spot, because I think technically um, it's just it, it's knowing. The key is, is knowing what the sound is, and then listening, and then putting the microphones where they need to be put. So the, the, that's the key is. We listen, we pay attention, and we use quality microphones, and we're going to get a great guitar tone. To learn more great miking techniques, check out the rest of this series. And to learn more about these microphones, go to musiciansfriend.com.